BSENG, committed to serving customers, strengthening the business community, and investing in New Jersey's future. First Fidelity is now First Union, serving the financial needs of individuals and businesses from Connecticut to Florida. HIP Health Plan of New Jersey, dedicated to providing quality health care to employees of large and small businesses, as well as individuals for two decades. And by Bell Atlantic, the heart of communication, in partnership with public television, serving to inform, enlighten, and educate the citizens of New Jersey. NJN News with Kent Manahan, Dick Forney with Business, and Jerry Henry with Sports. A federal jury convicts former Somerset County prosecutor and his wife on all criminal counts, and a tanker truck spills thousands of gallons of oil, some dumping into the river. Good evening. Ken is off tonight. I'm Kent St. John. More on the spill in a moment. But first, a shocking day for former prosecutor Nicholas Bissell. He's in jail tonight without bail after being convicted on all charges in a 30-count indictment. Bissell's wife was also found guilty of all 13 counts against her, Michael Allen. Aaron reports. The jury took just one day to find Nick Bissell guilty of all the charges against him. The courthouse observers who thought Barbara Bissell might get off easier were proved wrong. The jury convicted her on all charges too. Nick Bissell's attorney said the verdict hurt, but he did not sound too surprised. We went in, we knew it was tough. My client knew it was a tough case. My client's position was he wanted a trial. He wanted to be found guilty. If he was going to be guilty at all, he would not plead guilty. Uh, he has a right to that, and he has a right to expect his lawyers to put out uh, in a professional way, and I think we did. The bigger surprise was that federal judge Alfred Lechner revoked Bissell's bail. From my point of view, Bissell lied on the witness stand, said the judge. I don't trust him to return for sentencing. The conduct by Mr. Bissell is contrary to trustworthiness. The judge agreed to hold a bail hearing later in the day, but then stuck with his original decision. Have you talked to your client? Didn't have much of a chance because of how quickly everything happened. Uh, uh, he was hurt and he was stunned. Uh, but he's strong and uh, he'll survive. So one of New Jersey's most high-profile prosecutors, the top lawman in Somerset County for 13 years, is behind bars tonight. The judge set September 6th for sentencing, so Bissell could be in custody until then. Barbara Bissell is free pending sentencing. They face up to five years and quarter million dollar fines on each of the charges against them, and there were 43 charges in all. The Bissells were charged with fraud and conspiracy for siphoning profits out of this gas station they co-owned, cheating their partner and the IRS. Nick Bissell was also accused of abusing his power as prosecutor, obstruction of justice, and perjury. The verdicts are a major victory for the U.S. Attorney's Office in Newark. Nicholas Bissell had a duty to prosecute crime, not to commit crime. But as the evidence showed, he applied one law to the citizens of Somerset County and a separate higher law to himself. This jury has applied the same law to everyone. Defense Attorney Bell Sobel said it's too early to say whether there will be an appeal of the conviction. U.S. Attorney Hotchberg refused to speculate on the length of the sentence the government will ask for. Barbara Bissell faces three years each on most of the counts against her, not the five her husband faces. No word on where Nick Bissell is being held tonight. This is a second marriage. Nick and Barbara Bissell have two teenage daughters. Okay? Thank you very much, Michael.